One of Dex Precision's main benefits uh, for us is it's a really great tool to help assess the quality of our clients' books. So first thing we do when we get a new client is we connect their zero QuickBooks up to Dex Precision. We analyze the data and we have a look at the, the scores that gives us. Um, and it's a really good indicator of quality for us in terms of um, you know what we're, what we're getting ourselves into, if you like. So the, the health score helps us to spot uh, lots of different errors, but um, the ones that I particularly focus in on tend to be around VAT for clients that have that registered. It also helps helps us to uh, pick up you know, inconsistency around bookkeeping for suppliers in particular and identify simple things such as bank reconciliations being up to date and, and whether or not you know, the, the data is clearly being looked at on a regular basis. For a new client that comes to us, you know, initially it gives us an idea of quality. Uh, that helps us to make an assessment for pricing for bookkeeping potentially, but equally it gives us an idea of uh, you know, where we'd be on pricing for other services. If the quality is poor or if the quality is really good, we can help uh, fix that either through training of, of the client staff or through you know, going into the data ourselves and, and going through and fixing that, and that's a chargeable service for us. The health score is a great way of creating opportunity for us in terms of um, you know, being proactive with our existing clients and also demonstrating the technology we have available to us for new clients and, and making a difference. Okay, so now I'm going to just take a quick dive into Dex Precision and, and show you what we would do when we had a new potential client come to us and just to gain a better understanding of what's going on with their data. So I've got um, a client open here on screen. Uh, you can see that the health score is 67%, so that's reasonably low for us uh, in terms of a threshold that we would generally accept. Uh, we tend to go with a threshold of around about 80%, uh, but that can be tailored for, for every practice and it can be tailored depending on the data that's in here. I can see from the, the overview screen the elements of what contributes to that score. Uh, and there are things there that I'd probably want to discuss with the client in terms of what's contributed to that and, and what remedial action would be needed to be taken, whether that's something that we would do or that's something that the, the new client would, would do for us. But the key thing that we would do, particularly if we're going to be quoting for doing the bookkeeping work, is I'm interested in the activity uh, stats that are over here on the right hand side. And if I drill into these, um, this is kind of the key screen for us that we would use uh, when we're quoting for clients because we quote on a transaction volume basis. And I can see here that for the year ended uh, March here, I've got uh, you know, a number of uh, sales and purchase invoices, etc., a number of transactions that need to be dealt with, and that would inform our pricing decision. So as I've just shown you, you know, we can see there that Dex Precision is a great tool for uh, when we get new clients coming to us and we want to assess both the quality of the data and the volume of transactions, which is how it informs our pricing decisions when it comes to bookkeeping. So we make sure that we, uh, you know, we've got good quality data coming in. If there's not good quality data, we know that there's ways that we can fix that for new clients and it really helps us to build a strong relationship from the start.